Crazy Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home! Awful lot of air pollution going on around here and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file in today's science file, it says... What are some ways I can reduce air pollution? Well, that's a pretty wicked cool question, so try this! I need my car to go to work or drop my kids off! <laughs> Whoa, wait for it! There it is! Carpool! Believe it or not, you can gather up a group of your co-workers or friends and actually carpool to work or school. If there was more carpooling going on, for every car that passed, there would be four less cars on the street. But Chris, I need my car to go to the grocery store! A backpack and a bike? Well, grab your whole fam family and bike your groceries back home. But Chris, I need my car to go out of town or on vacation! Okay, wow, wow, what's that coming down the tracks? Oh, it's a good idea. We could turn our current train track system into a brand new maglev bullet train system. Not only are these things very efficient forms of transportation, but they are extremely fast. Okay, so why put all this time, effort, and energy into reducing our personal land vehicle usage? I mean, isn't it factories that are destroying our atmosphere? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that factories are the biggest cause of air pollution. However, factories only make up about 30% of all air pollution. When we look at all the sources of air pollution, we see that the major sources come from personal land vehicles. By finding ways to reduce the amount of traffic we create, we can reduce the amount of air pollution humans generate. Using bikes creates almost no air pollution, since the energy is created using chemicals in our food. The only byproduct is a small amount of methane. Investing in bullet trains doesn't necessarily eliminate air pollution, as they would still use factories to produce the electricity needed to run them. However, they would reduce the amount of air pollution by carrying the largest number of passengers, as well as increasing our economy by creating jobs. Cars are the worst source of air pollution. Not only because there's so many of them, cars also spread pollution. However, carpooling would reduce the number of cars on the road, helping to cut back on the amount of air pollution generated by cars. Public transportation is more expensive than splitting the cost of carpooling with some friends and coworkers. Hybrid cars would pull a tremendous amount of electrical energy, creating more pollution than if we invested in bullet trains, that would carry a huge number of passengers. By reducing the ways we use our personal land vehicles, we can reduce the amount of pollution in the atmosphere, create jobs for people, and eliminate the unnecessary tax burden on the public. So now you know more about air pollution. You know, being able to reduce your air pollution right at home is why science is so wicked cool.